This is the Joe Walsh Single Cut Limited Edition Paul Reed Smith guitar. And I put my name on it. I have a habit of going to a guitar store and seeing something on the wall and thinking, ah, that's the one. And I take it home, okay? And I realize that it needs total adjustment. I get frustrated because I can't get it right. <clears throat> and I put it in the case, and I put it with all the other guitars that I bought just like that. So I don't like new guitars. Paul called me and said, I think I got something here, and I'd like you to try it. And he sent me one. And I don't, I'm not excited about another new guitar. Out of the box, Scout's Honor. This was absolutely perfect. Paul said, what do you think? What do you think? What, is anything, well, how can I make things better? Uh, what does it need? And I said, Paul. You're done. Out of the box. It's perfect. Don't change anything. And if you're looking for a new guitar, this is your guitar. This is a double coil pickup, right? Humbucking design pickup. You have to manage your guitar differently than with single coil pickups. There's a lot of overtones here. There's a lot of harmonics. My problem with all the humbuckings that I come across on a new guitar is the bottom end on the neck pickup. The low mids are way too much, and that's been fixed. These pickups are as close to vintage double humbucking guitars uh, is what I will refer to when I compare this. <clears throat> Vintage guitars didn't have this problem, but new humbucking guitars do. And I want to show you the low end here on the neck pickup. <laughs> Yes, perfect. Out of the box. Albert King. Okay. Together, you got the ping. play between them, perfect. Hear that chord? There's no fatness in the low end. It's perfect, out of the box. Uh, most of my COVID isolation time, uh, I've been playing single coil guitars. I just got used to them. When this came, uh, it immediately went in the guitar stand that's closest to me. And I haven't played a single coil guitar in a long time. I keep picking this up. Let me tell you a couple things about this, okay? Uh, in vintage, humbucking design guitars. There's a couple different choices in necks depending on the year. And I remember a long time ago in the James Gang, the guitar I used had that neck. And by that, I mean perfect 
for a vintage guitar. This guitar has that neck, which is a combination of the choices that Paul put together. And this neck is absolutely perfect. If you have little hands, you can handle it great. If you have big hands, there's plenty of room for you. It intonates all the way up. It's just perfect. It's perfect on stage when you are playing aggressively through a loud amp. It's right there. It stays in tune. It doesn't budge. You don't even notice. The neck is transparent. You just play the guitar. And another thing about the pickups is they are uh, great both ways. They're great with real soft stuff and uh, as aggressive as you want to get, they'll stay with you. One more thing I want to say, which is important. The problem with new design guitars, I don't know if you can zoom in on this, I'll put it next to my t-shirt, but <clears throat> the way that the neck is set in the body is the whole mojo of the guitar. And on all new guitars, the neck is way too high up. This has been set into the body so that the whole neck is lower. And what does that do? The space here underneath the bridge, that space is critical to the mojo of the guitar. And this is a um, quarter of an inch, this space between the thumb screw and the body. On uh, new guitars, it can be half inch or more. You've got to bring this up because the neck's set in the body too high. That's been fixed by Paul. And that's such a difference. The old vintage humbucker guitars were like that. Nobody thinks about that, but Paul did. So I'm gonna play it now, okay? I'm just gonna noodle. Let's we'll see what happens. <laughs> Those will fret out. They'll disappear. <laughs> Highest note. Perfect. Okay. Neck pickup. Here are the low ends, perfect. Both pickups. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Joe Walsh, custom single cut, limited edition. I signed them all, 200 of them.
If you're looking for a new guitar, get one of these. I guarantee it. I'll leave you with this. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.